This is the Christmas tree design. Um, I've kind of set, changed things up. Our one stroke this time is a rainbow. This is the rainbow cake we're using. It's Leanne's neon rainbow, so it's really bright. And we are using a Christmas tree stencil. So this is how that one works. Okay, so we're gonna start with our rainbow cake and a half inch flat brush. We're going to just tip Dip the tip of the brush in water. It's okay to leave it loaded between children unless there's just the colors are really muddy yet or you've painted a child's face who probably needed to be washed first. <laughs> so you're going to make sure you line up your colors that are already on the brush with the colors that are on the cake so you don't get the colors all muddied up otherwise it's going to be messy. It won't look as pretty and bright as it could. So you're going to load your brush so you have all your colors. Um, I tend to take the darker color closer to the eye. So you're going to start at the top of the fore or at the middle of the forehead, touch the brush to the face, pull down just a little, and then swoop it around towards the corner of the eye. If it breaks up a little bit like this, just go over it one more time. You just need to make sure you line those colors up correctly, otherwise it's going to look messy. Give it another couple of swoops. And then one more little swoop under the eye, just like that. Before this dries, this is a good time to spritz a little Mama, Mama Clown iridescent white glitter. You're going to just sprinkle a bit on here. If you squeeze this really, really lightly, it's going to poof. It's called a, this is actually called a poofer bottle. So it's going to poof out, just a poof, poof, a little poof of glitter there. Then we're going to take our finger dauber and stick it on our finger. Um, I'm using this green cake. It's got two colors of green and if you spray it just slightly and line up your colors correctly, you can pick up both colors so you have some depth and some variation. See both of those colors are on there. And what I did was I placed the stencil down here on the cheek and I did the green, the dark green, on the outside of the tree and left the light green on the inside in the middle, towards the middle of the tree and then kind of just turned it, it on my finger so that the middle stayed with the light green and the edges around the sides was the dark green. And you're going to lift the stencil up and you've got a Christmas tree. Isn't that beautiful?